ready for, ready for the pe yeah. Bad way to introduce the video, but I couldn't take the opportunity. Saw the title, I was like, had to, had to, I had to do Dark Horse. Anyways, <laughs> hello everyone. This is Liam Caddison here with Ruby Chapter Number Nine of Volume Five, which is, of course, a perfect song. The storm, Cinder, Snorn. Hmm. Not from what I'm reading, Liam. Uh, yes, yeah, so Cinder playing with fire, which you, you shouldn't really be doing, but Cinder knows what she's doing, I guess. But yes, we're finally going to get some fallout over the last scene of chapter number seven, because we didn't get that at all in the last episode. We got Yang's ordeal with Blake, um, when Team Rui discussed, and Yang's still not having it after the events of the ending of Volume 3. But I thought that was really good, of course, uh, as Tortured Boy alluded to, it was really, really powerful stuff from Barbara. Uh, she's just been impressive this season. I just, like, she has been all the seasons, well, volumes, should I say, but she's really upped it up a notch, and I'm just really enjoying her stuff at the minute. Um, and we also got shit going down at Menagerie, with uh, the Belladonna attack happening now, and we got Gira getting unleashed, can't wait to see him fuck shit up. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. But yes, um, I'm really, really excited to see what happens with Cinder's team. Of course, they're going to negotiate with the bro uh, with with uh, Raven, of course, as per Salem's orders. So without, fur I've heard a few people are a bit disgruntled about this episode as well. Like I've seen a few tweets. Um, I've reacted to this late in my perspective because I just haven't had the time to with family shit going on and all that, so, um, this is my opportunity, but I've heard a few people are a bit disgruntled about this episode. Maybe I'll be different, but we'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, yes, a perfect storm. I'm really intrigued to see what's going to happen with Cinder. Oh, first headphones on, Liam. Let's go. Ow, I just whacked myself off the board Back to the fairy tale, back to the show Back to the one, there's nowhere to go All first and desperate, all past and first Things like me blink, yeah, they're bound to get worse Play it out, guitar, yes! Helpless and doomed, and there's nowhere to win Girls unachievable, faith running thin Last and beloved, impossible odds that's when you've learned you've been messing with God Sand in your grip, tear up my limb Strike me with bolts of a lightning I won't die The battle seems unwinnable But all we need is a miracle We're going up, we'll never be denied can't wish away the days when days can bring back what is gone Won't waste my tears on yesteryears, instead we'll carry on We'll win for sure, we will endure, and though our goal is far We'll be the ones to touch the sun, triumph will be ours I know, I didn't have to, but I'm in a singing mood Let's cue with a musical. <laughs> I'm in a mood. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Sharpening that sword there. Raven, we have a problem. What is it? Salem we have a Cinder us. problem. Salem. Yep. Okay. Four of her followers are waiting to speak with you. Right. We play You're a lucky bandit friend. Yeah. Bring me my helmet. When she puts the helmet on, stuff gets serious. Let's do this. I don't recall inviting so many guests into our home. Oh. Either I'm losing my memory. M maybe. Or you've all lost your spines. Don't be too Ooh. upset with them, Raven. She pissed. Your men simply recognize the power of a maiden when they see it. <laughs> Which is why we'd like to have a word with Oh, you. yes. Spring and fall. Vernal. Pack your things. Let's do this. Then break down camp. We're moving. Cheeks up. A little late to run and hide. You've been on our master's list for some time, so you must understand that we cannot allow you to slip away. 
Mm. I know all about your master. And you'll still keep running. I don't believe we've met. We're the guys you should be afraid of. Oh. I doubt anyone <laughs> should be afraid of you. Oh. Yeah. Tell that to quiet. Oh, shh. That's what I thought. I'm Cinderfall. This is You're my bitch. associate, Arthur Watts. And my disciples, Emerald and Mercury. Two children Hello. you've tricked into following you. A disgraced Atlesian scientist. Oh, and a fall maiden with a surname so appropriate she probably picked it herself. Oh! Something tells me you've got more than Fuck a slight it. case of egomania. Oh! That's feeling about right. Damn! She filled <clears> the heat! I was also a doctor, but I must say the rest was... <laughs> Aren't you Accuracy. Perceptive? It's what's kept me alive. Damn, Raven, no chill. The only reason you're still alive is because you have something our master wants. Of Fair course, now. if I'm wrong. Oh. Vernal! This is gonna be... F this is gonna... Be oh, yes. Cinder versus Vernet, like I just said. Let's do this. So, this is the long lost Spring Maiden. Well, she's not so lost anymore. She's paid to do this. I don't blame her. Smoke piece of shit like Cinder. Perfect storm, isn't it? Yep. Impressive storm. <laughs> I just love how Cinder's like just eating this up, isn't she? Everyone else is like... Cinder, and you saw that smirk. She eating this up. <laughs> Bernal has done well under my guidance. I'd take that into consideration before you try anything. Raven, I won't underestimate you, so please don't insult my intelligence. Ooh, there damn. There's a slim chance you and your maiden could escape here today. But if you know our master as well as you claim to, then you know yeah, that that's gonna... never truly Yeah, escape. you can keep running, but she'll keep following. But we come bearing an olive branch. The maidens are merely a means to an end. Salem's true desires are the relics locked within the Huntsman Academy. And then the maidens are the only Come ones who us. can unlock. Allow Vernal here to unlock the relic of knowledge, and all previous acts of defiance against Salem will be forgiven. So they're giving her an easy option, like it's the best deal either of you are going to get. Yeah, I mean if they're approaching this it's without hostility. The Haven will be easy. That's because it will be. Headmaster Lionheart is loyal to Salem now. Mm. All we need is the key to the vault. Oh no, don't do, don't do it. You're not the only one to turn your back on Oz, Raven. I'm not helping Salem. I'm not helping Oz. Oh. I don't want a part in any of this. That ship sailed when you chose to harbor a maiden. But if you come with us to oh, Haven, we'll leave you, your tribe, and your little secret to live out the rest of your days squabbling in the wilderness. Mm. We just... They just, like I said, they're giving her a lucrative option, but... I need time to think this over. You don't have time. In two oh, days, Haven Academy will be destroyed by the White Fang. Two You're days. going to choose now. Oh, shit. Me into a corner, huh? So, are you with us? Or against us? Damn. And Jessica need... Wow, Jessica's just... Doing a really, really splendid job here. Agreements like these are built on trust. And forgive me for saying, but right. I don't trust a single one of you. You're going to need to give me more. Exactly. You are in a poor position to negotiate. I want my brother dead. Oh. Crow. No, we're not having Crow dead. Right. We are not having Crow... He knows Crow. I have Spring. And if I help you get your relic, he's going to become a problem. Yes, because Team I Ruby will be involved. To deal or with. whatever you want to call it. Crow doesn't trust me, but he does trust Ospin's other lieutenants. Mm. If Leo really oh, is wait. loyal to you, then you can order him to invite Crow right into an ambush. Oh no! He arrives at Haven, Raven, don't down, even go! Relic, and we all leave happy. 
No, no, no. Now don't. this is a proposition I can get behind. All right, lady. I can't get behind it. We have one objective. Retrieving the relic of knowledge. Yeah, but it's not going to now, be a walk in the park. Maybe on our list of individuals we would very much like dead, but he's not going to go down without a fight, and he's not going mm, to fight true. quietly. Our advantage here is just as you said. We walk straight into Haven, no resistance. They're, they're trying to do this stealthily, but like I said, it's not going to be a walk in the park. Out out the window. He's good, but not that good. All of us against him? It'll be over oh, in a heartbeat. No. I mean, she's but going. It's not just him. He has the students with him. And he has Ruby, Ruby. and and Sin. He certainly does. If we leave that school, I was going to say because Cinder's been obsessed with her. The kingdom will be on high alert, and the White Fang's attack will be ruined. Then we wait. Patience. We wait until the full moon. Leo invites Crow and his little fighters to Haven the same night Hazel and Adam arrive with the White Fang. Oh, as no. soon as the battle is won, the White Fang demolishes Haven, and any evidence we may have left behind is lost along with the school. Then, no nope. leaves my people alone. For good. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. yourself a deal. That's not going to happen. That's... Wait. Oh. Don't think I don't see what you're after. If this falls to pieces over your grudge with a child, I will not be taking the blame. <sighs> Then what are you worried about? Oh! Oh! Fly back home and tinker with your machines. And tell Salem oh, no. she'll get what she wants. I mean, this is her own path, but she's not She's not aligned to anyone. She's going to agree, isn't she? Uh, bloody hell. Oh, menagerie time. Menagerie time. Let's see Garrett take some... Sh but, I mean... I mean, it. Go on, Gira. Kill him! Yes! Oh. Oh! Let's do this! Come on, Gira. Come on, Gira. Oh, sh. Oh, sh oh, damn. I was gonna say, um. With Raven, she's not really aligned to Ruby or whatever. She just wants this. Well, well, so you can understand her decision. Go, son. Go, son. So much. Oh, sh. Oh, now, now shit's getting serious. You just don't, like, remove the hood. Oh, no. Hurry! Oh, is this. Yes, play. Go on. Oh, she's. She used the semblance. Go on, take care of them. Knock them out. I'm not sure. I got ambushed right away. Once we take down Corsic and Finnick. No, go now. But you keep assuring me your friend isn't a complete waste of space. Let's see him prove it. Well, what are you doing? We They're just standing win. there. I've wanted to sock these creeps since the day we met. <gasps> what are you waiting for? Let's. St they just stood there. You'll have to get in line. Blake, go. Hmm. We could have took care of them too, but okay. I would have just clotheslined them. I won't let you down, sir. Go on, son. <laughs> of course, you have to have that. Ooh, back to Raven. But yeah, but that I don't see why they didn't just yes, attack them now. while they were frozen. I followed them. It's not like they played fair. Did oh. They spot you? <laughs> of course not. Ooh, they are. They have a ship two clicks west of here. Looks like they're staying there for the night. Keeping their eyes on them. Thank you, Vernal. Anything else? Do you actually believe they'll let us go once they have the relic? No, yeah, they won't. Of course not. They'll never leave us alone. Once our purpose has come and gone, we'll be discarded. Salem only uses people until they are no longer useful. Exactly. If we want to have any chance of defending ourselves against her, then we need this relic. Oh, so they are... Oh, nice. If Crow and those brats want to follow Ozpin, then let them. When the chaos reaches its peak, we'll grab the relic. Yeah, make they, escape. they are just follow... Yeah, and okay, fact, nice. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't, doesn't care about her. Yeah, she made her choice. She made her choice. Exactly. 
I won't be as kind uh, next this time she said that. This won't be easy for us either, but we must do what's right for the tribe. I know. For everything, really, but takes. nothing's going to go down. Good. Okay. I don't know why, but her trying to swipe it away from Team Cinders or whatever you want to call her team from their claws, it's ra it's ringing more red flags about... I theorize that Raven's going to die. Team Cinder are not a team to screw with. Hey, Crow? Oz needs to talk to you. Okay. <sighs> We're going to find out what? No? Back to Menagerie. Okay, let's do, let's go. Oh, sh Ilya. Oh, oh. We're getting the confrontation, aren't we? Oh, please. Oh. I'm ready. I'm... Let's do this. Come on. Go. Oh, no. No, no. Don't. Blue Bolt! Damn it! Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, that was a really... I can understand where people are going so and so. I, I, well, I'm not sure myself, but that was a pretty... I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, it was really good, but I'll, I'll get explaining in a minute. But yeah, I think Jessica did a fantastic job and... Yeah, that was a really, really interesting episode. Get off the wire. By no means is it bad at all. I'm not saying it's bad, uh, but there were a few things about that episode that were a bit off. Um, I'll start off with the cons because I like to save the best to last and I don't want uh, to leave a sour mouth in uh, a sour taste in Ruby's mouth or Rooster Teeth's mouth because this show is amazing and this episode was really good to watch but it, it did have its flaws especially the fact that we got Blue Bolt again I think this is the third week running we got the camp situation we were like I mean the hug um, that's fine and all because that wasn't really a tease of things to come but um, it was just sweet it was sweet seeing that but we got the camp situation with Team Cinder approaching and then we got the menagerie fight where we were hyped that this episode could potentially be at least half the episode showing um, what? I don't know there was some kind of weird noise um, but yes um, where was I? oh yes we were so hyped that we were expecting at least half of the episode would feature the menagerie fallout but we only got a few minutes of it really um, and now we've got the Ilya, uh, Ilya and Blake situation, which was teased for the next episode. And I do expect them to close out the Menagerie arc, because I think uh, after next week's, or, yeah, after uh, the after episode 10, should I say, they're going to take a little bit of a break, just the one week break, and then we can focus on the attack on Haven, because that's apparently two days away. So, let's, let's throw... Let's go all out for the uh, for the four we weeks of um, the attack on Haven. It's going to be really, really interesting. But yes, um, first of all, I have no idea why. I, I, there's probably going to be some excuse to say why um, Gira and uh, Sun didn't attack Cossack and Finnick when they were frozen. But I like they're in a frozen situation, and they are just. Um, you could have had this discussion about how. Uh, about how Carly's situation is after you took down Cossack and Fennec, in my opinion. There's probably some kind of, um, I don't know, Faunus code that says don't attack them in a vulnerable position or whatever. But they're the White Fang. Who gives a shit? Um, like, I would have just attacked them, like, definitely. They're in a frozen situation. The advantage is 100% yours. You shouldn't be standing there. So, just go for it. Um, the other situation was 
I don't, I don't see why the uh, Crow and Raven, uh, Crow and Raven, Crow and Ozpin um, scene needed to be there. If Ozpin, like we're getting teased about that again, uh, I'll get onto that in a minute because there's something I want to add on to the whole teaser s situation. But I don't see why the um, Oscar and Crow uh, like little brief tease was included. If uh, like if he whatever Ozpin has to say. I would have included that little brief tease into the next episode, uh, like build up upon that, so it could be like, ooh, and then the information. I know it's supposed to leave us on on like suspension and all that, but here's the thing: I've, uh, like the like I've mentioned, this is the third week where we've got blue bald. Uh, oh, Sid is approaching the Bronwyn tribe camp. Oh, this is going to be oh blackout, and then you got the oh the menagerie fight blackout. People like I'm patient about this. So, I don't really have a problem, but there's going to be some people who are going to be pissed off with this being the third week in a row where we've gotten, like, a tease confrontation or situation going on. Um, by, no, by no means am I calling Rooster Teeth out. I'm not calling them out at all, but, um, like, I, I, I can see why they did the Ilya and uh, Blake standoff, because this is an emotional battle. Ilya had so much love for Blake, and them two have a strong connection anyways, so I can see why they did that, but, um, the other thing, though, was the Menagerie thing was a bit short, and I was hoping we saw that expand, like, give it, like, a lot of gear screwing shit up and all that, but, um, because the majority of the episode was, uh, was tiered around the, uh, negotiations. And, uh, um, well, you were right about one thing. The negotiations were short. <laughs> Had to use that. Um, but yes, the whole thing teed around the negotiations uh, deal. And I guess it's no surprise that Raven is doing this, of course. Uh, she's, try she's going to try and snag the relic from Team C I'm calling it Team Cinder until there's an official name. But, um, yeah, there was no surprise there, but red flags are ra waving again because I have said multiple times that I do think with the promotional stuff that the Yang situation with Raven, I think this just adds to the fact th that, um, Raven is going to die. Right, I've just figured this out. I've just figured this out. Emerald semblance is hallucination. Vernell followed them back to the to wherever the camp was or where they were setting themselves up. So, what if Emerald was listening in to the true plans of Raven and Vernell with the whole relic thing, and then shit's gonna go down when they do approach it, and, uh, yeah, that's what's gonna happen, because I do know that there's red flags going around for Raven, so, what if Emerald listened in to, just because, I, Cinder's not stupid, she's not stupid at all, so, um, she has to have her suspicions, and Emerald could have used her uh, semblance to her advantage. That's what I'm thinking. Um, ooh, I'm theorizing. I'm I'm smart. Well, probably not smart theorizing, but I think it's a hunch because, uh, like I said, Cinder's team are not stupid. So what I would have done if I was Cinder is have Emerald listen in, and of course use that hallucination semblance to fool. Vernell in thinking that the team was um, being tailed or whatnot. So, unless they didn't uh, didn't know, but um, like I said, that's what I would have done. But um, we'll just have to wait and see. But there are red flags being raved. But no, the negotiation part was really really great great to see because, like I said, it wasn't a bad story. It was really good to see. Just a few wonky parts, in my opinion. Um, but Jessica Negri, I don't know if it's because of the fact that we haven't heard her in a long time or whatever, and this is the uh, most amount she's gotten out in terms of dialogue since the ending of Volume 3, but she was just impressive in that, like, exchange with Raven. I just really loved it. But Raven with the shots fired, I don't think Cinder can re recover from that burn about her surname being appropriate. <laughs> nice. Um... That was uh, that's probably the best line out of the uh, out of the Ruby episode. Just Raven throwing some shade there, but um, no, that was really really interesting. Like I said, no surprise that Raven's true intentions was to snag the relic, but 
stuff's going to go down uh, when the fall, or, well, the attempted fall of um, uh, Haven gets unleashed. Because we've got some juicy dialogue, including the time left remaining and the plans, of course, to what uh, Cinder's planning on doing, of course. Um, and they're trying to trying to throw those red flags at Crow. Not happening. Nope, not happening. After Volume 4, I'm not having any of that, so yeah. Um, but no, that was a really, really interesting episode. Like I said, the Manai I'm, I'm really excited to see how the Ilya and Blake fight does pan out, but we'll just have to wait and see, uh, of course, until next time. But um, I can see what they're doing, but there was just a few stuff that fell off, like I've just alluded to, but... No means by this was a bad episode. Like, there's probably going to be some people that's going to credit as this as a bad episode and whatnot. But I didn't really feel this was bad. Just a bit off in some places. But um, next week, business is going to pick up, of course, before we do break. And then the final four episodes, definitely, it's definitely going to pick up. They're going to go all out. So, uh, for those people who are miffed... I'm expecting shit to go down definitely starting from next. Like, Volume 5 is going to be a roller coaster ride from here on. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a predictor or whatever. Well, technically, I can be if I'm a reactor. But um, I can guarantee that, there's, uh, that we're going to be on a roller coaster journey from here on out. Like, we've gotten all the dialogue stuff out of the way. Um, but, like, because there's been a lot of dialogue development, which I can dig. Uh, like I said, there has been a uh, there has been a suppression on action, in my opinion. But they're going to go all out in these next five episodes. I'm sure of it. If I, and if I'm not, then I'm an idiot. Um, but no, that was a really, really um, decent episode of Ruby. Had its flaws, but it was really, really interesting, especially the negotiations part. Um, and I can't wait to see how this will backfire for Raven. I can 100% guarantee it's going to backfire for Raven. So, I'm not really confident in in her chances this season. But no, that was Ruby. Really excited to see the final, because uh, Ilya's going to die probably. Probably. Um, but yeah, that's going to be next week. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!